More Metroid Prime with JD and Colin. Hello, folks. Yay. We're getting so close to finishing this, but we have to find more artifacts. Yeah. Because that's so much fun to do. <laughs> right? You get to go to all these other parts of the game that you've already been at with new weapons. That's, <laughs> I'm sure that's what they were thinking. <laughs> right? Yeah. That has to be. Definitely. Because you don't get any of these clues until to go to these areas until you find the other artifacts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very annoying. Definitely. Colin, your place is freezing. <laughs> yeah, it's the, I live in it's a... the middle of the summer, and I feel like I'm in 40 degrees. <laughs> I'm living in a basement. You should have warned me. <laughs> <laughs> Although you have given me this uh, nice wool blanket for me to wrap myself in like a cocoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mom bought it for me before I went to Yellowknife so that I'd stay warm. What's Yellowknife? Uh, capital of Northwest Territories, province of Canada. Way north. I'll show you. <laughs> if you're gonna uh, live in Canada, you gotta know this stuff. We're not over near Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't near Vancouver. It's like over Alberta and Saskatchewan, and uh, I'm, I'm aware. It's like right next to none of it. Uh, I know where none of it is. Let's see. So I had you borrow the Batum DVD. Yes, you did. Ah, here we are. Uh, Northwest Territory is right here. Right oh next to Yukon. Oh, the Yukon. You could have just said next to Yukon. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> you actually called it Yucatan in a, another video. <laughs> oh, the Yucatan Peninsula? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, I think it was Persona 3. Probably. We talking about Junpei calling Yukari Yucatan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's... That's when I got confused. I was like, Yucatan? I thought that was tropical. Yeah. <laughs> Yukon yeah, territory. Misspoke. misspoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Where's Yellowknife? Where's Yellowknife? Where are you? I got it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, oh, here it is. Right here. That's far That's far up there. It is? Do people live up there or just moosing? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody yeah. lives there, probably. No, there's like 20,000 people. Seriously? Yeah. That's a lot more than I thought. It'd be like 300. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as backwater as a lot of people think. I mean, they've even got like bars, bowling alley, movie theater. Bowling alleys are important. Yeah. They are. But more importantly, bars. <laughs> no, no, no. Bowling alleys definitely trump because there's bars in bowling alleys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Although, we're going to talk. All of, all of their. All of their transit is repurposed school buses, literally. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta find a use for them in it in some way. Yeah. yeah. Recycle, reduce, reuse, all that. See? Dumbass door. Oh, shit. You had to use a super bomb to f just find the fucker. Oh, shit. God. Plus, you had to have the plasma rifle. Yeah, or yeah. The plasma gun. It's dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so you borrowed Batum from me, the I DVD did. I have. Uh -huh. Watch all 12. I'm so excited. You're the only person I know that has also seen the series now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's one of the worst selling DVDs yeah, Madhouse has ever put out? Yeah, you mentioned that before in a, another video. I yeah, it's, 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 it just didn't do well. I can't figure out why. I think it's because it was overpriced. Possibly. Which, it's very true. Yeah. But it's also got some rather adult elements to it. It's you... very adult. Definitely. I mean, geez, you got, like, not only people getting blown to pieces, there's also, like, rape sequences. Yeah. They don't there's fuck like, around. Yeah, there's, like, two in one episode, actually. At least. Is there two? Because I remember the, the main... Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Never yeah, mind. No, that's kind of a spoiler. In the main flash... In a flashback. In a flashback, there's a rape scene, yeah. Yeah. Although the main girl, it's just an almost thing, but her three friends, oh boy. Yeah. Well, so the whole premise is uh, they're all put on this island mysteriously, and they have to compete essentially in the same rules as an online game yep. called Batum, and it's essentially Call of Duty with bombs only. Pretty much, yeah. So they're put on this island, and the way you get on the island is you're nominated by somebody in the real world. Yeah, who hates your guts. <laughs> who hates your guts. But you're, some of the questions you ask yourself is, okay... Why, you know, why do they choose these people in, in specifically? Yeah. 
Because there, I bet there's lots of people that hate people, <laughs> hate other people. Yeah. You know, um, that's actually revealed in the manga. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a slight. Uh, there's a, you'll find out that there's a reporter who's doing research on all the oh. shit happening. Oh yeah. Um, he was just revealed recently to me. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I've only just gotten to. Uh... The end of the anime, which covers up to the end of chapter 50 of the manga? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's, um... I think they came out with the anime too soon. That's true, yeah. Because they're only on, I think, volume 14 right now. Yeah, I think I think Rave Master had the same problem. That's why it didn't succeed as well. Yeah, which is really a shame, because how... I mean, there's fan service in it, for sure. Yeah. But I think it's got a lot more adult themes than what you normally see. That's yeah. what kind of grasps me. And you see character struggle and development from start to finish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are your what are your thoughts from start to finish there? Uh, it's, it's definitely got a very Battle Royale-esque plot to it. I don't know if it's the most creative I've ever seen it done, but it's, it's interesting enough that I wanted to keep going. And the characters, they're definitely... Definitely interesting. Like, the main guy is very flawed. Like, he's kind of How so? Well, in the... As you see in his flashbacks, he was kind of an asshole to his family. Oh, for sure. I mean, for fuck's sakes, he chucked a controller at his mom that embedded in the wall when yeah. she interrupted his game. I was like, fuck, dude! That's your mom! Well, um... Yeah, he was... He was ve he, yeah, he, he was in the real world. He was very much... Uh, a flawed person. Yeah, he's not motivated for anything. All he really cared about were his games. They call him a neat, but yeah, it's like eh, I don't know the way the way it's uh, a neat can't even function in the real world. He could. Well, he's all, the only reason he could function is because he was still living with his mom. Right. Uh. So what I like about that is you you see why he's there. Yeah. But then, while on the island, he uh, he goes through this wild character revelation of yeah. himself. Yeah, it's like the life or death situation really triggers his... Really makes him consider what it is to be about part himself. Of, yeah, to, to about what himself, be part of society. Yeah. Uh, he realizes how, he, how poorly he's treated his family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really like that. Definitely. Um, but what I didn't like is the, uh, the mom and stepdad clearly did fucking nothing. Yeah, well, in his mom's case, it was a, a little bit understandable. She was, she was just scared of him, I think. I don't know. Uh, well, my memory's a little fuzzy, but. I mean, there was definitely fear there, but a parent's, a parent's job is to, yeah, they're get supposed... their kids straight or get them out. Yeah, they're the they're the author main authority figure in their lives. Right, and they didn't do any of that. Yeah, that's true. Because you do find out. I think it's what in the fourth episode or something. It's really early that you find out his mom's the one that nominated him. Yeah, and then she was so so racked with guilt she tried to kill herself. Yeah, so that's very early in the series. Um, but where was I going with that? Where I'm totally blanking on the reasoning here. There, there. So he realizes how he's treated her. She clearly ha has like no author authoritative figure at all in her life. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just bad parenting. Possibly. I remember there's a flashback to his his biological dad. He was not there with his kid. He was just on the phone all the time or at work all the time. So yeah, so here's here's the here's the thing with that. Uh he, uh Ryota, the main character's name, yeah. He didn't really mind the fact that his dad was working. He hated his mom because she left him. Huh. You remember that? No, I remember I remember him feeling really low. Because, like, there was a moment with one of the other characters going crazy because Ryota was always going away. 
on the island. Well, that, yeah, that, that, that was that was uh, yeah, that's that was the one business duty he kind of makes an alliance with. Yeah. That's that's a separate thing. Uh, there's a flashback where Ryota uh, punches his stepdad. Yeah, I remember that. And there's a whole uh, uh, anger sequence there where he goes. Uh, you know, he's yelling at his mom, saying, you left dad, because he was, just on the fact that he was working all the time, you know, oh, yeah, at least yeah. we we're still a family. Um, yeah, so he clearly feels resentment towards his mom for breaking the family up, and then just being with this other dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah. So I kind of, I mean, I, I know a lot of friends who went through divorce. I mean, shit, my brother went through, my parents getting divorced. Yeah, yeah. You know, and... That that's just normal feelings. Exactly. Yeah. So in that aspect, Although yeah, I can I, understand. I, I can I could und, I could see see why he hates his his current living situation. That's true. Yeah. And then with of course the, his biological dad not being there, there's no authoritative figure to actually tell him what to do because he was clearly the only one he would recognize, and he just wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of led to his his personality. But then on the island, it all goes through this rapid rapid change that makes sense. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. And you see that with a lot of the other characters as well. Yeah, yeah. Totally makes sense, yeah. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, World Ends With You. It's a video game that happens to be my all-time favorite. I'm familiar with it. Yeah, the, the character starts out as a real jerk, but through believable development, he actually becomes likable and there's and I could in some respects actually relate to him kind of because there's in the first section of the game he's partnered with a really cheerful and peppy girl but then after a few revelations are made about her she starts acting really really withdrawn all the just like she can't speak she's just really down on herself at one point and then because of that, because she had been the main energy of the team, mm -hmm. the main guy suddenly feels compelled to pick up the slack. He feels like he needs to be the one to get stuff done from there on out. And I could totally relate to that. Because there, there have been times where I'm in a group situation where nobody seems to care. But then, since I know what needs to get done, I, I feel the need to take charge. Okay. So yeah, that that made a lot of sense to me in the world ends with you. So you kind of see, you, so that's where the similarity lies in the two, yeah. two things. Yeah. Yeah. A life or death situation creating a compulsion to do to do better. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, uh, all, all the character. I mean, the fact that the series doesn't fuck around with yeah killing it, characters off. I yeah. love. You just don't see that much today. Yeah, other than in, like, Game of Thrones or something. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, man, it's it's just a real shame that this series just didn't do very well. Cause, I mean, unless, um, unless they get to, like, volume 20, cause then, or 16, because then there'll be another half. Yeah, yeah. Unless, for some, unless it comes out as an anime again, I just don't see this continuing. Just, like, really taking off. Well, the anime didn't come off. I think I think you've seen this in the few series where they come out with the anime just to sell the manga. Yeah, that's true. So I think that's what happened with this one, and so I got sold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm buying the manga. Just, but that, but I also believe the fact that it's just not going to come out on DVD anymore. That's mm. going to be the only one. Yeah, yeah. I I can see that. Kind of tragic. Yeah, the only other series that that has that same impact is uh, Great Teacher Onizuka. Oh yeah, yeah. Got the DVD, and now I'm buying the manga. Where the DVD just didn't, where it finished. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. And in my case, Rave Master that didn't get that didn't end up getting a full English release, although the manga did finish. But the although, anime wasn't good. Yeah, it was just really bad pacing issues. Yeah, so that's where. I think Batum and Rave Master's different. I feel like the anime was actually pretty good. Yeah. I don't That's know. True. I could see a lot of people having have problems with the with the character flaws. Uh there's a little there's some plot holes in there, but yeah. you don't really know where the holes are. 
Yeah, that's true. Unless you really look closely. Yeah. But I'm totally lost in uh, Metroid Prime here. I gotta figure this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, we shall see you next time. Yeah.